Hello, I'm John Cotavilla, a member of Big Orange Robotics at UT, and I'm the control systems lead. So when we were looking at the hatcher design and how to actually manipulate the hatches, uh, we mainly had in mind how we would grab them out of the loading station because they're brushes on the loading station that keep the hatches in place. And so we wanted something really strong that would be able to yank the hatch out from these brushes without possibly dropping the hatch. Um, with that in mind, we decided to do a design that would fit through the center hole of the hatch and then expand two flaps out behind it and press it up against a back plate so it would have a really firm grip. Uh, and then our idea was basically just to ram into whatever we were trying to mount the hatch on and then fold the flaps back in and drive away. So uh, the first thing we actually thought of was looking at auto loader CDs. So people make these devices where um, they're ripping a bunch of discs and so they make automatic arms to uh, lift up discs and move them onto disc drives and such. And so we decided to look at some of those and they mainly went through the center hole of the disc, which we figured approximated a hatch pretty well, um, and then had a little thing that would expand out and fill that center hole to grip the disc. Um, we originally considered doing that, but we didn't really have any grippy material of the right size on hand. So if we had like rubber cones or something, that would be nice. But with the materials we have, we thought that going all the way through and flipping back would give us the secure connection we're looking for. Our design doesn't include anything that would be able to pick a hatch up off the floor. The idea was brought up that it would be similar to Steamworks, where some people thought gears wouldn't fall on the floor, but then they ended up falling on the floor. We figured uh, this year they probably won't be on the floor as much because you only get gears from the loading station and you can't, the gears in the loading station can't be dropped onto the ground like they could in Steamworks. They're always in a little set. So the next step with the hatcher is going to be mounting it on the robot, most likely above our ball intake and shooter, and then also uh, converting our rough wooden prototype into something more consistent made out of uh, metal.